Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power, and hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Sorry for the interruption, but it is super important. If you desire to have a podcast, don't be afraid. Use Spotify for podcasters. It's what I use. Go to anchor.fm. It's free. And get your voice out there. The world needs to hear your wisdom, your experiences, your love. So don't be afraid. Go share your love. Are you changing for the sake of change? Or are you changing for the sake of love? Now, bear with me here because you're going to immediately think, oh, yeah, Lent is all about getting closer to Jesus, learning how to love Jesus more. But that's not it. It's the two greatest commandments, and it's also learning to love yourself and loving others like you love yourself. So if you don't love yourself enough to ask the Lord to help you change, then are you just doing this for the sake of change? Because it's Lent. Today's reading smacks me upside the head because I always think of this paralyzed guy sitting next to the portico and Jesus walks up to him, giving him the gift of healing and basically asks him, Do you want to be healed? And the dude doesn't even answer. Instead, he whines and responds with, Oh, but I've been here for so long and nobody is putting me in the water. Lord, have pity on me. It is hysterical to me because I see myself in that guy. Don't you? God is saying, do you want to be healed? And we aren't answering with a resounding yes. And we should be because the Lord so wants to heal us, but he gives us free will. And he wants us to love us. Because if we loved ourselves, we would want what God wants for us which is to heal us. So maybe you cut something out this Lent and maybe you've fallen and you've dabbled in that thing that you already say has a stronghold on you and clearly it does if you've fallen again. Have you asked Jesus to heal you? Do you love yourself enough to reflect on the fall. It's not fun. It's not. But it's important because we're not just asking for change for the sake of change. We want change for the sake of love. And of course, love for Jesus. But the second of the two greatest commandments is to love ourselves and love our neighbors as we love ourselves. But too often we don't love ourselves or we don't think we're worthy of this healing. 
So if you did give something up and something has a stronghold on you and you fell, have you looked at that experience and asked God to give you his wisdom? So let's say it's alcohol or it was sweets or something and you have done great up until maybe even a feast day. Maybe it wasn't a fall. Maybe you just said, you know what? I'm going to rejoice. We had Latare Sunday, which was a big rejoicing day. I'm going to go ahead and have some drinks or I'm going to celebrate with some cake or some sweets. I'm just using these because most people do those. And maybe you overdid it or maybe you weren't paying any attention. And as you're eating the sweets, your body's starting to not feel so good. You get this weird feeling in your stomach. You start feeling like sugar seriously pumping through your veins Or you have that alcohol and you don't just have that one drink. You have six, seven, and all of a sudden you're kind of drunk and you're hung over the next day. And if we don't stop and reflect and say, okay, so how was that? What was that all about? Did I feel good? Was it good for me? Or did I feel not so good. And my body rejected it. And I felt tired or I felt off or I felt hung over. And oh boy, what I said and what I did, because my body was overcome by sugar and alcohol or whatever it is, maybe it was pornography. If we don't love ourselves enough to sit with our change And go back to why are we asking for this change? For the love of ourselves, for the love of Jesus. So I go back to the guy sitting in the portico area who's paralyzed, who's whining and being all pitiful about his own life when Jesus is right there just saying, do you want to be healed? So can we look deep and say, yes, Lord, because I want what you want. And I know that God wants to heal you. So we should love ourselves and know that on the other side of this thing that has a stronghold on us, or maybe it's you who added something beautiful to your life. Maybe you added prayer. And it's slowly but surely becoming a part of your day, but you're not consistently doing it and you're not consistently feeling like you've got this as a part of your life. But instead of stopping and turning around and going in the other direction, you can learn why am I not able to sit in silence? And am I allowing my body to rule me or... Am I ruling my body? Let's not forget that when we do something, whether it's taking something out or adding something in, our body's not used to it. It has its own mind. It wants to do its own thing. It is addicted to the way that we have trained it to live. So are we paying attention? Are we loving ourselves enough to learn so that Jesus really can permanently heal us so that we can look beyond what we think that stronghold has on us and look at how bad it is. Or when we're adding prayer, or we're adding new things to our lives to bring us closer to Jesus, that we say it is so much better for me to be doing this for my soul rather than scrolling through social media or streaming things, or doing anything but spending that time with God and learning to love him more and allowing him in, telling God, yes, I want to be healed. So today, let's focus on the why we want to change. And it's for the love of God but also for the love of us, because whatever God wills for us is good. And we want that for ourselves. So let's step up, take 
ownership today of that gift of healing that Jesus is asking us if we want. Let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, sometimes we are so self-absorbed and we just ask for change for the sake of change, not for the sake of love. And today is a reminder that we want to answer yes, resounding, loud and clear. Yes, we want to be healed. And we know that only you can heal us. And when we are on the other side of this issue, this stronghold, this loving change in our life, that we will be free and we will be able to be that witness to everyone because trusting you, trusting you means that we are humble enough to give it to you in your timing, in your way, your perfect way, not ours. So today we offer all of our life and all of the beautiful, miraculous changes that you will perform in our hearts. We give it all to you, but we do say yes. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh, reflect, learn, listen, pay attention, and the change will make more sense. You will realize how much better you are without this stronghold in your life or with this new aspect woven into your day especially if it's prayer, walking in the spirit, looking and seeking for God all throughout your day. It's amazing. Okay, heads up. Tomorrow I will be in Lincoln, Nebraska, in a car, traveling to the airport. My apologies. I'm going to another Legatus event. I love them. Uh, Check them out. Legatus is a professional executive organization, Catholic, where you go attend mass, you have dinner, you have confession. It's absolutely beautiful. And in the end, it is a moment for fellowship and ways that you can live your life, both personally and professionally, being a witness to the Catholic faith and to Jesus. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful organization and they have chapters all over. It's actually international. So go check them out. L-E-G-A-T-U-S. Legatus actually means ambassador. So I will not be able to come to you with the podcast tomorrow morning. I will come back on Wednesday. So you will hear from me then. In the meantime, I love you all. Go out and love yourself. (laughs) This change is a loving change. And soon you will see how loving it is because God will change your heart. You will not look at this thing as an an adversary. You will look at this thing as a learning experience. So if you're cutting things out or you're adding things in, as you allow God to change your heart, you will see, "I, I can't live without this prayer in my life now. And then on the opposite side, I can totally live without this other thing in my life because I've realized how much it drags me down, how much guilt and shame, and my body just feels heavy after I do it. And if it's alcohol or if it's drugs or if it's pornography, you can truly go through, is it worth the little state of being change or is it not? Because that's only for a moment. And then the reality of the fact is that you just succumbed to the stronghold yet again. And that is where God's wisdom 
If we sit with him and we allow him to change our hearts and we think and we pray over these events, our hearts will change. And we have to be grateful for that. And I thought I was going to keep this at 10 minutes and it's already 13 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm going to go. I love you all. Find something more. Soul, mind, and body. And change for the sake of love. Have a blessed and inspired day.